Hi. Now, in this video, I want to talk to you about position vectors. But first of all, let's just suppose we had a vector a to b, which equaled 3i plus 2j. Remember, I showed you that i and j were unit vectors. They were vectors that were one unit long, i being 1, 0, and j, the unit vector, being 0, 1. So when it comes to looking at this vector a, b, and trying to draw it, say, on this grid, how do we draw it? Well, we don't know where A is, and we certainly don't know where B is. All we know is that if A, say, was at this point here, let's mark it as A, then B would be three units along in the I direction, one, two, three, and two units up in the J direction, one, two. So that would be the point B. And the vector AB then would be that one there. But that's all very well if A is this point here. A vector like this is called a displacement vector. It tells us the relative position of B to A. Now it's called a displacement vector purely because I can move it anywhere I like and the position of B relative to A will never change. Like, for instance, when we're down here, it's still going to be three units across, two units up. So displacement vectors then show the position of one point relative to another. Now I'll move the vector AB out the way. Let's just move it back to, say, here. So what do we mean by a position vector? Well, position vectors always start at the origin. So, for example, suppose I took the vector C, and that was 3i plus 2j. What would that look like? Well, we have a starting point because position vectors always start at the origin. So, if we go to the origin then, and we go 3 units then for 3i to the right, and for 2j, 2 units up, we end up here. So, therefore, the vector C, let's just mark it on there, C there, is the position vector then 3i plus 2j. Now, if I put at this end here, let's say capital C, then I could say that O to C was the vector 3i plus 2j. And it's important to note that the coordinates of the point C are exactly the same as the coefficients of i and j. In other words, the x-coordinate is 3 and the y-coordinate is 2. And this is always true with position vectors, unlike displacement vectors here. So, as another example, let's suppose we had a point d. Let's say if d had coordinates minus 2, say, minus 3, then what would the position vector of the point D be? Well, we've got to start from the origin, so we would expect the vector O to D to be equal to minus 2i minus 3j. Or you could call it just simply the vector D. But it would look like this. Starting from the origin, then minus 2i would take us that way to the left and then minus 3j would take us down three units so that there would be our vector which we could call d and this point here would be the point d with coordinates minus 2 minus 3. Now when it comes to working with vectors in three dimensions the results are much the same. What I've got here is a displacement vector AB. I've drawn a cuboid round it, and so that should give you a sense of three dimensions. So the vector A to B as displacement vector would be 4i plus 3j plus 2k. The coordinates of A and B will vary depending where this is in space. But if I bring this back to the origin here, then the coordinates of B are defined. 
they're going to be 4 in the x direction, 3 in the y direction, and 2 in the z direction. And the position vector of b, that is the vector from the origin to b, let's call it ob, the position vector of b is going to be 4i plus 3j plus 2k. Now, it's a common mistake that I see made, and that is to think of b as being the vector 4i plus 3j plus 2k. b is a point, remember that, okay? And uh, you should label it, if anything, o to b. So I hope that's given you some idea then on the difference between displacement vectors and position vectors. Position vectors, remember, always start from the origin.